So I've been wanting to make this video for a bit now. I just, I really haven't had the time. Um, right now, our channel, along with so many others, and not just in the paranormal field, but all over YouTube, we're all struggling big time. Um, Lainey and I started this channel six years ago, just as sort of a hobby. Then we realized that there was some pretty amazing people here and we were getting some really good evidence and getting to see places that we'd never seen before, or never probably would have, had we not started this channel. Uh, our channel took off pretty quick and we had a great support system, um, family, friends, other creators. So for the first five years, it was kind of like a whirlwind. Um, I was back then working two and a half jobs, seven days a week and still doing YouTube almost full time. Um, <laughs> it seemed like if I was at home or off work or on break or anything, I was doing something for YouTube. Then I decided to leave all the work behind and do YouTube full time. But in doing so, I turned it into a job um, and I definitely didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, we all want our channels to do well and eventually make us money because, oh my lord, do we spend a lot of money doing this free platform. <laughs> I really think a lot of people enjoyed seeing me and Lainey and our true personalities coming through on our channel. Um, what you saw is what you got in real life as well. Um, I've had many mentors throughout and I've met some of my very best friends through YouTube. I know I'm making this kind of sound like I'm leaving YouTube, but I'm not. Um, but we have decided that we are going to rebrand our channel because something just isn't working anymore. And that's okay because people's tastes change. And with the year that we've had, it's been almost impossible for us to do YouTube. And we have been struggling to be... Um, We've been struggling to just even get a video out every week, and we haven't even been able to do that. I've also had to miss several live streams and stuff like that, so we can't be consistent. Um, and I think that's really killed our channel. Um, I was just thinking the other day about the pros and cons of YouTube. And all I kept going back to was the fundraiser that Twinkie and Rochelle did for us when Cody was so bad at the beginning of the year. Um... My family all came to me and they said they had watched the fundraiser. And I'm talking about my immediate family and some of my cousins. They said they had watched the fundraiser and didn't realize what YouTube was for us until then. Um, they definitely supported us, but they didn't really grasp the bonds that we've made through doing YouTube. Um, and right now everyone's doing their own things. Um, they're building their own channels. So it's hard for us all to get together like we used to, but I know each and every one of them are there if I need them, um, as are we for them, definitely. But right now there's so much hate and jealousy going on with YouTube. Um, I'm gonna say this, if you're, if you're constantly making rude comments and uh, talking about others, other people's channels, or just trying to make yourself sound like you know it all, <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you. I've been investigating for almost 30 years now, and I still have no clue what the hell I'm doing. No experts in this field, period. There are knowledgeable people, but no experts in a field where nothing makes sense. And this field changes so much, we have no clue what or who we're talking to. We can hope and trust in our own instincts, but as far as knowing for sure, none of us know that. We don't know if we're actually speaking to a, an actual person from our past or to an actual demon. Uh, then you have the reaction channels and the debunkers. Eh, just don't even get me started on that. I have two channels that I watch that are reaction channels. I have a few others too, but two that I watch consistently. Um, and I respect the hell out of them because of how they do their content. And that scared Witless, A.D. Whitman, and Snap Reactor. Um... I just, I just respect how they do the videos. Uh, it's hard to know what's going on in others' videos because you're not there. I feel like some people are not just judging the content, but the creator itself. And I don't do jealousy or pettiness. And yes, I do think it is jealousy and pettiness. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I just want to shake some of the people and just say, grow up. You know, we're not in elementary school anymore. But... 
no matter what they say, they're not going to change my opinion of the creators that I love and respect. Um, just like them, I watch the content for the creator. And I absolutely love all of them with all my heart. I do get protective and I do get offended when people say stuff about the, the people that I love on here. But I know everyone has a right to their opinion. However, you do not have a right to slander someone's name or reputation. There is a right way to voice your opinion and a wrong way. You know, we all say we want to live in a world where everyone gets along, and I know that's BS. But we should be uplifting each other. We're alive and we're walking this earth, and so many others are gone and they can't. They're not here to do the things that they loved and we are. So be grateful you're even able to do YouTube. This is one of the reasons why I started the, the pair games is because I was struggling so much with YouTube and I wanted more channels to come together, you know, and, and do some similar things and stuff. And I, I've seen so many others struggling for video ideas or locations or just anything that they could get to post a video. So I started the challenges because, I, you know, I was already challenging creators to do stuff. I wanted people to follow in that footsteps, you know, kind of the bringing people together, um, kind of like Jenny Love TV is doing now. I really appreciate that she took the challenges and made them her own, um, and she started the You Pick Hunt Challenge, and it's it's turned out awesome, and it's it's an amazing idea, and you know, I could be saying, oh man, I wish I would have come up with that, you know, but I'm not. I'm saying dang, that is a really good idea. You should be really proud of yourself for coming up with that. Um, even though there's challenges all over, we've all figured out a way to make them our own. Um, and just so many people struggle with that, you know. It is hard to make videos, but if you need to belittle other people or you need to slander other people or you need to break down other people's content so you have content, I don't agree with that and I do not think that's right. That's laziness to me. And I'm probably going to get a lot of crap for this video. And I really don't care. I'm I'm in my I don't care mode. Um, but, but it is. It's, it's crap. Go out, work as hard as these other people, and then you'll have something to be proud of. But they're just talking about other people's channels and all that stuff. It's, everyone's getting tired of it. You may think that your channel's doing well because of it, but eventually everyone's going to get tired of it. And it does get old hearing the same old, same old all the time. And I've quit watching a lot of channels because of that. Because I don't want to go to a channel and hear them complaining constantly about how they don't get views or they don't get this or they don't get that. And other people do. Put in the work. That, that's the only way you're going to be able to do that. Um, I just... I don't know. I know we have been gone a lot on here, but we have been dealing with a lot personally. Um, Cody almost losing his dad. Cody and his brother starting their own trucking company. And it's been a slow takeoff, but as is any new business. Um, but Cody was hospitalized twice this year and was really bad both times. We lost our home. We lost our vehicle and about 90% of our belongings. But what we haven't lost is our love and our sense of community. It's the only thing that can't be taken away because you can't, you can't take that away from somebody. The only, it's the only thing that we can keep without somebody trying to repossess it. <laughs> um, and we love you all, and we do not want to leave this platform that has been so amazing to us and has so many amazing people that we consider family. Um, and I know you're all wondering what this is. Why am I doing this? Well, this is going to be part of the rebrand. This is the very first podcast or pre-podcast that we will be doing. So if you like hearing me talk, which I don't understand why anyone would want to do, um, I'm going to be doing these randomly, just talking, doing chats. Um, I want to start featuring more of our everyday life. 
the struggles of editing or finding locations. I want to talk about things that matter here on YouTube. And no, it's not going to be a crap fest. <laughs> it's going to be just me letting everybody know what's going on in their life. And I will have backgrounds and there may eventually be just me talking on there and showing myself. But right now I'm just going to have the voice. So I need your help with a name for the podcast. Serious Inquiries Only Bat Recon. Um, But it will be paranormal based, but it'll also be about my life. Um, So I want to kind of name it something that means a little bit of both. Uh, so, leave your suggestions in the comments, and if I pick your name, um, I will definitely be shouting you out, and you will have a um, little producer, not producer, but, you know, some kind of something mentioned at the end of every podcast. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's just me rambling, and I just wanted to clear the air about what's going on with our channel. We just, we need to take time we need to rebrand and reevaluate what's going on with our channel because times are changing and we need to change with it. We can't just keep doing the same old, same old and expect it to work. Um, and I have so many mentors that I absolutely adore. Omar, Jody, James, Carlos, you know, we need to rally together and support one another. And when I see them doing that and, and the love they have for their channels and you see the work they put into their channels and you also see that they change. They change their channel up to what it's, you know, what you need to have on your channel to be able to get views and stuff like that. So if we want to continue doing this, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to grow and not just be stuck in the same mold. This is what I'm going to do and nobody's going to change that. I've had my eyes opened so many different times. So, um, I hope you enjoy this and I really hope I didn't take too many people off. I'll probably see some subscribers drop and it's okay. You know, not everybody's going to agree with me. That's fine. But we love you guys. You mean the world to us. We hope you know that. And we will talk at you next time.